now it's time for some hands-on experience with Amazon Bedrock and that's how our application is going to look like uh, so we will create this chat where we can ask questions where we can talk to uh, the uh, model in Amazon Bedrock and get the responses and we are going to use uh, react for it if you are not familiar with react uh, don't worry too much about it because i prepared you a boilerplate uh, to start so here is a repo where we are going to work this repo called bedrock tutorial and i'm going to share the link uh, in the description below the video so you can just go to the github and uh, download uh, these code this is a uh, just react type script with application and it has a couple of basic components for chat and uh, we are just going to work in this app.ts6 component and uh, that's how uh, the starting point is going to look like uh, so we have a couple of containers uh, with the chat there is a history there is an input chat input to submit our prompts so that's it and now let's start uh, and let's try to connect this application these UI components with the actual bedrock API so first thing you need to do is to go to the repo and uh, hit this code button and then just uh, copy this link and type in your terminal git clone and paste the link it will clone my repo into the uh, bedrock tutorial a directory where you are going to work i already have the code in my local machine so i'm just going to run um, yarn to install the modules and you need to do the same especially if you just downloaded it for the first time and then you need to run command yarn dev to start the dev server and when you run it you'll see this uh, link for the local uh, instance so you can just click this link and you will see our uh, boilerplate application these uh, messages are static now and this text is also static and at the end of the video we are going to have a chat that will connect to the cloud model and will let you ask questions and talk to it so to connect uh, to the aws bedrock from the react application from our client application we will use a library that aws provides and this library is the part of aws sdk let me show you so this is the package and uh, there is a documentation uh, about how to use it with javascript or typescript and there is like a bunch of classes and methods and everything uh, what you need to know and so for now we are just going to copy this command yarn add and we are going to install it in our application so just ctrl c to stop the server and paste this now when the module is installed let's uh, import it in our app.ts6 as we usually do and now we can create a client for our aws bedrock model so let's create it And we need to pass a few things here first is the region uh, whatever region you are using uh, in our case it's going to be us east one for example and we also need to pass credentials that we got in the previous video uh, but uh, you should never ever hard code your credentials your aws credentials because if you for example uh, hard code here your secret access key uh, then you can accidentally 
push it to your GitHub repo and make it available to everyone, especially if your repo is public. So to avoid this, instead of using hard-coded values, we are going to use uh, environment variables. So uh, how environment variables work? You need to create a .env uh, file here. And in this file, you will um, define two variables. They will start with this uh, prefix with because uh, this is how with uh, framework uh, gets access to your custom and variables. So you will need to add these two variables and add the values from the AWS console uh, or CSV file that you downloaded. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then just go back to the previous video in this tutorial and watch it. So uh, you need to create this file and then in the app.t6 where we create our client, we are going to pass uh, these environment variables like this. And we also need access key ID, of course. And and now we can use this client to connect to AWS Bedrock. Uh, so let's try to connect. Uh, and you see here we have our empty on submit function that accepts prompt and then just does nothing. So let's uh, here uh, call our client. And here to this send method, we are going to pass a new invoke model command. You can uh, read more about this um, method uh, in the documentation, um, but for now, just bear with me. Um, so in this invoke model command, we again passing few parameters, uh, content type. In our case, it's going to be application JSON. And then, body and this is going to be the body of request uh, we will uh, get to this uh, later Let, let's just make it an empty object for now and here we also will pass a very important one model id so here is uh, going to be a model that we want to use. Uh, so if you go to bedrock and you go to the base models and then we, for example, want to use this uh, model. So here is the example of the API request and we can just copy the model ID from here. And we can also copy all the other stuff. You see there are a bunch of different parameters, but uh, for now we will copy just this one. And for the body, we will copy these two parameters and we will pass them here. And the most important one is this one is the messages. So let's copy this. And here, instead of the hello world, we are going to pass our prompt. And now what we can do is just console log this response for now. And now let's try it out. Let's take this unsubmit. Oh, it's actually already here. So we pass it to the chat input component and in the chat input, we just have two things. We have the input and we have a button. So uh, when we click the submit button, we will get the value from the input and send it to the model. So let's try it out. 
uh, let's go to our interface and yeah I need to run it and we will open the DevTools console and here if I click the submit button we already have this predefined prompt I'm getting a bad request did I forget something okay this model is not supported on demand so let me try the different model ID let's go to the bedrock again yeah so it actually says it here okay let's just try this one this should be supported and this is the model ID now let's try again uh, okay so we uh, got the response and uh, in this response we have some uh, different things we have metadata and we have a body so what is interested for us is a body and you can see that this body is not just the text it's 8-bit array and in order to uh, read what it uh, says here we need to decode this array and now I'm going to show you how to do it so here where we uh, get our response we want to create a new variable we will call it decoded response body and we are going to use a browser uh, function text decoder and then we are going to pass our response body to this decoder and then we are going to parse it because it will return us a string And now we can console log it again. And now let's refresh the page and try again. And you can see that now we are getting the decoded response with the text and with some metadata about the model and role and etc but what is interesting for us is this content and you see this is an array and right now it only has one uh, element but in theory there could be like an array like of two three uh, responses um, but for the simplicity we are just going to assume we have only one so uh, if I want to use this one response all I need to do is to get it from the response body content and then zero, zero index oh and I already have the response yeah okay let's say text we are going to add it to the history you see here we have uh, we have the hook set history and we can uh, create a little helper function let's call it add to history and it's going to accept two parameters text and author And then you're just going to call set history we will pass all the previous history and add the last element text and author 
so now if we go here and add to history our text and we said that the author is a uh, cloud so model name then now if i hit the submit button oh, oh something goes wrong objects are not valid react child oh yeah so i needed to add here if you go here and see that the content on the index zero is actually an object and it has a text property so here i need to add a text only and let's try again and you see now we are getting the answer here in the chat but we lost our prompt uh, it is because we also want to add it to history when we are asking our model so let's go here and before we uh, send the response we will add prompt to history and here it's gonna be username okay let's try again so you can see we added our prompt but again the model complains that there is too many requests we need to wait a little bit and you can see now we have both a user prompt and the response from the model so that's how you can create a simple chat with ai model using aws amazon bedrock and react and i'm going to show you what else we can do in the following videos so hit the like button and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss them